staph infections are relatively easy to diagnose, and sometimes no test is necessary to diagnose that. Clinicians, doctors, nurse practitioners, physicians assistants can often look at a skin infection and identify Staphylococcus aureus as being the likely cause for that uh, for that skin infection. But in the instance that we have an opportunity to take a culture, which is to say take a small specimen, send it off to the lab, let it get looked at under the microscope, that would allow us confirmation of the exact bacteria that it is. And uh, sometimes that changes your treatment plan. There are certain staph infections that are susceptible to many oral antibiotics. And then on the other hand, there are certain kinds of staph infection, often these days termed as MRSA, M-R-S-A, MRSA, uh, usually responds to fewer antibiotics. And so it's important to know when you're dealing with a resistant staph infection like MRSA or a regular staph infection.